What do you make of Liz Truss's departure? Well, it's clear to me now that the Conservatives have no mandate to continue in government. The economic crisis the British people are facing with soaring mortgage rates is a direct consequence of decisions taken in Downing Street. And the idea that Tory MPs here can stitch up and force upon the country another Tory Prime Minister by, for, by denying the British public any say in that decision whatsoever is unacceptable. People have had enough. We need a government that will clear up this economic mess, stabilise the economy, rebuild our public services. We need a general election now. I, I want to talk about what happens next in a moment, but watching the way that the Conservative Party dispatched Liz Truss after 44 days, are, are you a bit jealous? You kept Jeremy Corbyn in post quite a lot longer than that, despite many, many of you wanting him gone. Do you wish the Labour Party was a bit more ruthless, like the Conservative Party is? Well, Jeremy Corbyn was never elected Prime Minister, and Tory MPs gave us this Tory Prime Minister, who is responsible for a disastrous budget which led to a run on pension funds and soaring mortgage rates. There are people in my constituency facing an increase in their mortgage of hundreds of pounds a month because Tory MPs gave us the disaster that was Liz Truss. The idea that they have a mandate to continue into government after giving us this crisis is completely laughable. It's why we need a general election now. But Prime Ministers do change in the middle of a parliament. Gordon Brown became Prime Minister in uh, 2007 uh, when well, Tony Blair was elected uh, at the start of that parliament. So, so th yes, there is an economic crisis. However, it is constitutionally perfectly fine for this to happen and you'd be wrong to suggest otherwise. Well, actually, I mean, you, you may be able to correct me, but when in recent history, certainly not in post-war history, I don't think, have we had two prime ministers imposed on us in this particular way? Actually, in 2005, 2005 general election, the Tory party ran a campaign saying, vote Blair, get Brown. And then, and then so you could argue there was a, there was a mandate for that. But but the problem here is that there is no mandate whatsoever for the Conservative governments to continue, to continue down this line. They have given us a disastrous budget which led to a run on pension funds, which led to soaring mortgage rates. And the idea that the people who caused this mess, who caused this chaos, are the people who can fix it is laughable. It's why we need a general election now, because people have had enough. So I suspect we're going to hear Labour figures calling for a general election sort of until they're blue in the face. But the bottom line is you can't make one happen, can you? There is an opportunity if you put down a motion of no confidence in the government and you get enough Tory MPs voting with all the opposition parties to force one. Do you think you're anywhere near to getting Tory MPs who are absolutely fed up with this government voting with you and actually forcing the country to go to the polls? Well, it's certainly true that Tory MPs are fed up with their own government. We've seen that uh, played out uh, in the last few days. Which are you close? Are you close? But are you close? But are you close to, to no, doing a vote of no confidence you know in the government? Yeah. You know, th this, these Conservatives have got an 80-seat majority. Yeah. yeah? To get a general election, they need to, to, need to decide on one. And a new Tory Prime Minister coming in has to accept that they have no mandate. They've just been forced on the country by Tory MPs. The same Tory MPs who gave us this trust, who gave us this disastrous budget, who have given us soaring mortgage rates. They have got no mandate. They need to give us a general election now. And I think that is the view of the British people. I, when I go around talking to the British people, there is a yearning for change out there because people have had enough of this lot and they need and want a government that will come in, clear up their Tory economic mess, stabilise the economy and rebuild our public services. There's one element of today that's continuity rather than change. It's quite clear that Jeremy Hunt for now is going to remain as Chancellor because of the scale of the economic problems facing this country. Do, do you think that's the right decision? Well, the scale of the economic problems created by this Tory government. Yeah? The reason Jeremy Hunt is, is a, supposedly looking at cutting back on support was, what was until yesterday, going to cut the pension by about £400 uh, on top of another big cut we've just had this year in the pension is because he's trying to clear up the mess created by this Conservative government. Look, I'm not going to get into whether Jeremy Hunt should be the Chancellor or somebody else. Who I want to see the Chancellor is Rachel Reeves because we need a change of government. That's why we need a general election.